Say a four-letter word in Middleborough, and you could soon be fined. Well, some people have some choice words to say about that. Today, a Marine veteran organized a swear-in outside of Town Hall. And as Crystal Haynes reports, their message is all about freedom of speech. Come heck or high water. I hope you have a wonderful day. Dozens gathered for a swear-in. What we need to do is make America a bullying-free zone. Protesting Middleborough's ban on cussing in public. This month, the measure passed 83 to 50 to decriminalize the 1968 bylaw against public profanity and impose a $20 fine to offenders. Government is a bully, and in this case, it's a bully in the form of 183 voters and a police department saying, we're going to bully a town of 20,000. But in this case, they have a particular target, which are young people in this town who have a reason to cuss. Activists, Marine veteran and Internet host Adam Kokesh rallied dissenters at Town Hall Monday. He tells me record high unemployment, tuition costs and the national debt are just a few reasons young people like Matt Nazarian have to cuss. It's unconstitutional. Uh, you could even say it's unpatriotic uh, and it's bullshit. The swearing ban here in Middleborough technically is not enforceable yet. The town has 30 days to submit the bylaw to the attorney general's office, and then the attorney general has 90 days to deem whether it's constitutional or not. Those who support the ban and these grandmothers who say they just don't like potty mouths also brave the elements to protest the protest. If they have to say that in the center of town, you know, around these other people, then it's not right. You know, they, they know, they know better. They probably wouldn't do it in front of their grandmothers. In Middleborough, I'm Crystal Haynes, Fox 25 News.